Hi, I'm Mike Montgomery, and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this mid-century modern coffee table on modern builds. So the first thing you're going to need is a single sheet of three-quarter inch plywood. And the first thing we're going to do is cut that into half, and the good people at Lowe's went ahead and did that for me on their giant panel saw. From there, you're going to cross-cut two 42-inch pieces, and I did this at home with a circular saw. Using some kind of straight edge is going to help out a lot in this project if you're using a circular saw instead of a table saw. Next, we're going to cut two 6 inch pieces as well, although we're only going to use one. Notice I used masking tape here because I was getting some tear out on my last cut and I wanted to prevent that. From there, we're going to rotate the board and rip a 6 inch piece all the way down it. And you can save the rest for later. And now we're going to cut two 22 and a half inch pieces out of these. These are going to be our two sides that are going to be touching our drawer. If you're wondering why these are an inch and a half shorter than the other sides we cut, it'll be clear later on. And finally, we can cut two 14 and 3 quarter inch pieces, which are going to be the face of the drawer and the back side. And now it's time to glue up. I glued and squared up the frame first, then I added the divider and I used the face of one of the drawers to make sure that I had that lined up properly. My next step was to add edge banding everywhere I was going to paint. The top and everywhere else that was going to have stain I waited for later because I didn't want to get any white paint on any of the wood that I was going to stain. If you haven't used iron-on edge banding, it's pretty straightforward and simple. And you can trim off the excess really easily with a chisel. I did, though, add the edging onto the back panel where the drawer is going to be, even though it is going to get stained. The next step I did was just add that back panel on the back side of the table where my drawer is going to be. and now I could paint everything. This took a total of four coats of paint, and just be sure that you use masking tape to protect any surface that you're gonna put stain on later because we don't want any of that paint to bleed. Next, I just made a little drawer out of half inch plywood. I didn't really show me cutting all the pieces because I thought it would be pretty straightforward and simple. Just build a box to fit the hole that you've made. It may be slightly smaller or larger than mine. That's why I didn't give the exact dimensions. All right, so now that all the paint is finished, we can start on everything we're gonna stain. You'll remember, we haven't put this edge banding on yet. And I did that for two reasons. One, I didn't wanna get any paint on it after I put it on, and number two, I don't wanna get any stain on our freshly painted white sections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stain the edge banding and then I'm gonna apply it. So, here we go. So I just pre-cut all of my strips that I'm going to use and I just went ahead and stained them with them laid out. I've had a few people ask me if this has created any problems when I've tried to apply the strips on later and it doesn't. It goes on just as easy and looks just as good. And after that I can apply the rest of my stain. Here's a good visual aid of why we cut those two sides shorter than the others. You can see that the back panel is actually let into the sides a little bit. That gives it a little bit more of a custom look. And I ordered these legs and hardware online and I'll leave a product list in the description. And finally, I could apply my clear coat. I put on four coats of a semi-gloss polyurethane, but you could finish it in whatever you want. After I put the finish on the legs, I was actually able to hang them up where I normally hang my tools to dry, which worked awesome. Attaching the hardware was pretty simple, or at least I made it that way. I made a makeshift jig out of two 2x4s two and used the wide side of one and the thin side of the other to let me know where to put my bracket. These pieces of the hardware are actually angled, so it'll really give the legs that mid-century modern look. And as you can tell, even though I used masking tape, I still found a way to make a mess. So I just had to fix that paint a little bit. 
And to find where I needed to screw in the face of the drawer, I just put two screws in and left them sticking a little ways out and then used those to mark the face of the drawer. That way I knew where to attach it at. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave those below or you can hit me up on social media. Don't forget to subscribe as well because we put out a new video every single week. And we'll see you next time on Modern Builds.